pedigree is research, right? Selling to research institutions around the world since 1991. So all we think and breathe and sleep is research. So if you ask me the recommended oil, it's gonna be the olive oil because that was the oil that was used in the original research. Does that mean an MCT oil doesn't have the possibility of, of having similar benefits? We sell an MCT because our customers have asked for it. We also sell an avocado because our customers have asked for it. But I don't take MCT, I don't take avocado, I take olive oil. One of my other concerns, in the industry in general, you can get, you're right, less than half of the uh, uh, ESS60 in MCT oil as compared to olive oil. Now, you go to our website, that's explained. We're very specific about it. Um, it has the same price because uh, organic coconut derived MCT oil is a very expensive thing uh, to procure. Uh, and if you want to put it in a great product, that's how you have to do it, even though you have about half or a little less than half of the ESS 60 that will go into, say, an olive oil. Other companies out there are selling the MCT oil with C60 in it, I guess. Uh, and they're not really upfront about the fact that you need to be taking twice as much, more than twice as much, in order to get the same amount of, in their case, C60, and in our case, safer for human consumption, ESS60. And, and so it's, again, on our site, it's very clear, it's laid out, like the dosage is gonna be smaller, you gotta buy twice as much. And I, I've been on the phone with customers like, well, I don't really care about the price, I like the flavor of MCT, I think it's gonna have the same effect. I'm like, okay, there's no research on it, but we're happy to provide that product for you. Uh, you just, you, I feel like companies aren't being forthcoming with the information that it takes a lot more of this MCT oil to even have the potential to have the same impact as it does in olive oil.